Okay, so I've just decided to plasti dip the uh, stealth. Um, the reason I plasti dip my stealth is for obvious reasons. Uh, 150 yards, not even that, 70, 80 metres in rough water. You, you can't see a grey kayak on a grey sea, not a hope in hell. Um, the corn blue stripe doesn't even help. In fact, the corn blue stripe just blends in. So, you know, we we're cruising around uh, yesterday in 21 knot winds. Um, which for this kayak, you know, it's it's you know it's within its limits. Um, we didn't expect it to do that, so you know we kind of knew what to do once it blew up. Um, we just headed back in. Um, we're only about six k's uh, from the launch point, probably about five k out. Um, so you know it's you know it's, you're pushing into a, a fairly strong wind and gusts and wind waves and swells coming in from behind. So obviously the rudder's off at the moment because uh, it's too big to just carry around with a set of wheels. You kind of slip it on once you're on the beach. Uh, so decided to plasti dip the kayak, uh, the stealth ski today. Uh, takes about, you want at least eight to 12 coats of plasti dip. Um, don't do what I did. Um, I went with a, I, I wasn't quite sure, I didn't, didn't quite click that I needed to put a white base on first. So I put a neon yellow base on first, and then I went with orange. But I got all the way through the yellow, and it was still translucent. The grey was punching right through. So when you do go by Plasti Dip, uh, at the moment, uh, the, it's the month of November, Autobahn's getting rid of all their crazy colours, and they're only selling their prominent colours, like black, greys, and whites. Uh, they're getting rid of all the crazy colours. Um, so the orange is actually only $9.90, I think it is. Uh, this is uh, blaze orange. Uh, so what I ended up doing was uh, I only had one blaze orange. I went back to the shop, grabbed the white, which was twenty nine dollars. Uh, so I bit the bullet there. So um, uh, white went straight over the top and blocked out everything in one hit. Uh, I used the whole can, so we're talking maybe three or four coats of just white plasti dip, and then um, and then I went over with tangerine orange because that's the only second car orange they had. And then I final I finalised the coat with uh, four coats of tangerine and another four coats of um, well, this blaze orange. Uh, as you can see, it stands like dog's breakfast. It's, like, um, it's a point to note at this stage. Um, obviously, rip your hardware off and silicon back on. Uh, the decal will punch through. You can see the decal. And these small imperfections here, these little dimples, um, look like nodules. Um, that's a reaction to the decal. And obviously didn't clean. I, I alcoholed, but I sh maybe should have acetoned in hindsight. Um, it's fairly durable. Uh, you can give it a good rub. It doesn't come off. So it's, it's uh, Ro Rocket Kit, who's on YouTube. Uh, he's been using this stuff for years now. And the only, I phoned him up today and asked him for advice on doing this. Um, because I really need to be seen on the water. Um, it's come up pretty good. So I'll put Keel Easy across the front here on top of the Plasti Dip. I bond it on myself. Uh, just to give it a bit of a, a bit of protection at the front. Uh, if it does start to peel, it'll let go. So you make sure it's one piece, like Rod said, from the front to the finish line. One complete nose cone piece. Uh, don't try and do uh, it in strips. It won't work. Uh, it'll peel at its join line. So as you can see, there's the join line there, and it's away from the water direction. So um, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty snazzy looking finish, actually. Um, it's still got another three hours of drying, but you can tell it's dry already. So, um, so uh, there's the stealth. I used Plasti Dip from Autobahn. They've got the biggest range at this stage that I can find. Uh, rip your hardware off. Use a white Plasti Dip block out. Then follow through with two cans of your favourite colour. Uh, and then whack it on the kayak. Obviously, if it rubs up against stone or sand, coarse sand, it's going to try and peel off from underneath. I've done a full coat. So it's uh, probably best if you run a little bit of keel easy across the nose there. Um, a disclaimer at this stage, keel easy. Even though the product is excellent, uh, the bonding ability for that adhesive in Australia is not very good at all. I've got guys running stealths up in Cairns, uh, Victoria, uh, across to South Australia. Every time it gets hot and humid, uh, the gum lets go and it just peels straight off, literally. So um, uh, Kill Easy probably need to come up with a little bit of a better system on bonding it to fiberglass. Um, it obviously, the glue just lets go. The Kill Easy fine, but it just lets go. So that's another story altogether. So um, there's the Kill Easy done. I mean, there's the uh, Plasti Dip done. So um, now the boys can see where I am on the water because uh, I had Milton Smith turn around a couple of times and say, where are you? <laughs> 
So um, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's not it's not the uh, it's not good having a grey kayak in open water. Um, might look trendy, but uh, you kind of need a little bit more, a little bit more obvious. A lot wears bags, you know. So okay, so there you go. All right, I'll uh, talk to you on the flip side and uh, leave some remarks below. Cheers, guys.